Probably would help if I gave sound to Cyberpunk. <sighs> thank you for all the support this morning. In sync, your Tachi Longwood Geek. Thank you. Be Frey Tag, Azar Jala, Davcam, Azadin, Team Knight, and Kalkin, Graydell, Krasgar, Aaronim. We got hosted. CDPR just hosted me. Oh. Well, hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Let's play Cyberpunk. Okay. Settings. Graphics. Hi. Ooh, field of view. Let's start at 90. Uh, motion blur is on low. Let's turn it off. Um, local shadow mesh quality. Let's turn that on. Wait, is this good? This is good, right? Don't I want all this up? I think so. Wait, this is on high? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ray tracing ultra. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. How many do we have in here? We have 91K in here? Well, thanks for the channel high. Um, Really appreciate that CDPR, thank you guys. Uh, DLSS, let's put that on quality. That's good. Ray tracing on ultra. Psycho! There's a psycho setting! Of course there's a psycho setting. Um, okay. Ocean blur, off. Very hard. Buckle up for a serious challenge. Careful character development and clever use of items, game mechanics, and the environment will be necessary to help V make it on the streets of Night City. Corpo. I'm V. I'm V. Okay. Go with a uh, generic white guy, just like me. Generic white dude. Okay, looks good. Now, most of the time, most of the time, I would send, uh, I would spend a lot of time, a lot of time on my character, but I really want to get into this game, like badly. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of like, music's too loud. Okay. Well, what's funny is it's actually pretty low. Uh, we'll, we'll change this in a minute. Okay. Also, want to say a big thank you to everyone tuning in today. We are going to be running uh, sub mode. Oh, 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 oh. We are going to be running sub mode most of the day just for spoilers and stuff. I'm going to be dropping 100 bombs throughout the stream, though. So if you are a non-sub and you're tuning in, we really appreciate you. Thank you for it. And um, yeah, sorry that we're having to run that. We, we generally try to avoid sub mode as, as much as possible. But uh, Ooh, height from third person perspective. Nice. Nudity sensor. Can I like, can I turn it to super off? Uh, tutorials on. Let's go to sound. Ah, oh, disable copyright music. You absolute bosses. Uh, window borderless, V-Sync off. Uh, don't need HDR mode. Okay. Should be good for now. All right, let's do it. Oh, let's, let's turn down the music a little bit because my sound is actually like minus seven right now. So let's let's pop the game sound down a little bit. We'll put it like uh, 70. Now I can turn this back up. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's go. God, I'm so ready for this. Subtitles, we'll turn those on in a minute. I got, I got to, dude, I got to get going. I got to get going. I'm freaking out here. I'm freaking out here, chat. All right, so we're going to do this. Uh, skin type, how many skin types are there? Five. We, oh, there we go. We'll go with four. Hairstyle. Uh, how many hairstyles we got? Oh, we got a lot of hairstyles. Thank you, Kaylee. I appreciate that. Breathe, says the Ting Ting. I'm trying. Hey, Niclura, I'm going to have so much fun today. I'm already, I'm already having fun. This dude just clicking through these options is... Wow! Look at you! How do you even have that much hair? That looks like it's for a head twice the size. Okay. Um. Wow, some of these styles, dude. 
Hey, it looks pretty good. Though. Um, should we go? Should we go with the Geralt? Keep telling you about the Geralt. Oh, can I rotate? Oh, there we go. Oh no, no man bun. No, thank you. Not, not big into the man buns. Um, we're kind of corpos. We got we got to start with the corp. I'm I'm guessing. Did they announce you can change your hair later in the game? Are there like barbers in this game? Like, in, I'm assuming there are since there are in Witcher, right? I'm assuming we can change our hair later. Maybe. Probably. Well, just, let me just find... I'll just kind of, like, do a somewhat self thing for now. I'm going to go from there. Uh, let's go with, like, a brown color. Uh, oh, wow. There's not, like, brown. I guess this is brown? It's brownish. Um, go with the Adam Jensen. Oh, I like that. I like that. What am I switching through right now? Oh, this the shape of the eye. I need big old anime eyes. I don't like mine. Man, look at that. Wow. Where's, where's my big old floppy eyes? Like my eyes. I got I got big old, big old eyes. How many eyes are there? 21 different types. Wow. go with that oh dude <laughs> cool little hearts oh can I can I can I pick one eye one and one eye the other because so I want blue eyes because I'm light-eyed right Kaladin um oh I, I can't I can't do eyes different colors that's too bad Man, I can't wait to see what some people come up to with this. I can already tell people are going to make crazy characters in this game. Crazy characters. Hey, big old bushy eyebrows. Where's my big old, where's my big old bushy eyebrows? That's, that's pretty bushy. That's pretty bushy. Wait a second. Wait a second. I can't match my eyebrows to my hair color? And to think I was going to like this game. How do I refund a, an early access product? Can I uninstall it twice? Okay, let's see. Ooh, big... Okay, I need a big old nose because I got a big old nose. Um, I think... I feel like I need bigger eyes. Okay. I think I need bigger eyes. Can we do bigger eyes? I, all these eyes are so brooding. It's kind of derpy. It's kind of narrow. Yeah, Ko's going to spend five minutes in character creation, right? <laughs> um, I think that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. This is the fast version? It is. Okay. You big old floppy Dumbo ears like me. That's pretty cool. Pretty good. We can work with that. Wait, can we, can we like, make a longer jaw? Big old jowls. Big old jowls. So much for getting into the world fast. I Oh, there we go. Okay, we can match beard to hair. Although there's not really like a brown. I was hoping there would be like a brown. This, I guess this is brown? Kind of reddish, but that'll work. That'll work. Cyberware. Oh, dude, that's like the Jensen. I like it. Uh, okay, cyberware, there's how many cyberwares? Eight. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Oh, you can scroll down on colors. Can you? I don't think you can. That's it. Oh, dude, there's ones on the back, too. It's like a port. Oh, I guess that's probably for everyone. Yeah. Wild Hunt. I know it's awesome, isn't it? Okay, hold on. I got to drop another sub off. Because there's a, there's a lot of very patient non-subs right now, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, Wait, what does the middle button do? Oh, scrolls. Hold on. Let me try that again. 
Yeah, there's no, there's no scrolling. Yeah, but there. Oh, here's where the scrolling is. Yeah, here's where the scrolling is. All right, get in here, non subs. Cool. All right. <laughs> I like how you go to teeth and he opens his mouth. That's great. I, I think white is fine. Yeah, eye makeup. Uh, we don't need eye makeup. Lip makeup. Don't need lip makeup. Don't need. We don't need any makeup. Maybe some blemishes. It's kind of cool. How many? Three. Uh, nah. We don't need liver spots. Nails. Oh my lord. Nails. You're short. No color. Oh yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Uh. That's weird. The normal spine. Uh, man, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not sold on that hair. Dad, I'm not sold on the hair. Ooh. I wonder if there's any just like short hair. Like, like I got. I, don't, I think what we... Oh, it's the Stephen Lumpkin! It's gorgeous. Look at those flowing locks. He's going to be on our first episode of Coalition Book Club. Beginning of next month. Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, wow. It's the Goda. Still, I still can't believe this thing. This is like that lead singer from that Seagulls band. But the Drowning Seagulls? I don't even remember. Um, Flock of Seagulls. There we go. Uh... Pretty nice. Cyber Karen. Oh, I like that. We could we could just go like go with a shave. Actually, doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna be like the only streamer on Twitch with like a normal looking dude. Oh my god, everyone's gonna be so creative, and I'm gonna be sitting here like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just a dude, just just a guy, I'm just a dude. Everyone's gonna be like, look at my pink skin guy with. Fun nails and cyber eyes, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I, I, I work in a cubicle. Co the normie. I'll we'll start with this. Mm. Facial scars. Uh, oh, Jesus! Some branding stuff. What's this one? Oh, it's like a yeah, around the eye. Okay, special tattoo. Okay, what what is what is that? Did you just go in and be like, yo, just put shit on my face, just lines and stuff? What? Oh, barcode. Oh, that's gotta mean something. Oh, that's gotta mean. That's gotta be an Easter egg of some kind. I wonder what. I wonder what kind. It's gotta be an Easter egg. Oh wow, there it is. Jeez. Oh, wait, what happened? Or facial tattoos. Wow. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Cute. How edgy. Yeah, we'll, we'll not do that. Piercings? It's going to be like college for me. Can we, can we just have like pierced ears or does it have to be like pin cushion there's one pierced ear there's one pierced ear i had gauge 10 ears can we can we can we do like gauge just two gauges is that a thing oh, i guess not okay that's fine uh teeth we already did this stuff nipples nipples this is important no nipples Nipples on or off? <laughs> okay. Body tattoo. How do I put the coalition tattoo on my arm? Um, it's got to be one of these, right? No? This game's, this game's terrible. Body scars. Oh, we'll do some body scars. Oh, let's see. Whoa. Maybe not that kind of body scar. We'll do some scars. There we go. We'll some, some scars. Genitals. Off or on. Seven points. Okay, body. 
Each attribute contains a set of skills. Both attributes and skills provides different bonuses depending on your style of play. Skills level. Uh, skill levels increases you perform activities associated to them. Awesome. The maximum level of the skill is limited by the level of the attribute that it's being to. Okay, so body. Body determines your raw physical power. In addition to allowing you to force open doors, each level of body will add health points, stamina, increase damage with fist, increase damage with melee, increase movement penalty while grabbing an enemy and wielding an HMG, and increase movement while grappling. Okay, so we don't need a lot of body this playthrough. That's going to be for our next playthrough when we play a street kid. Um, a burn the world street kid playthrough. Intelligence. Increases cyber deck ram, quick hack damage, and quick hack duration. That is That is where we are this turn. That is where we are. Overlay? Oh, yeah. Hey, Barry, we may need to, like, pop around the, uh, the overlay today. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, okay, it's, it's going to be weird, though, guys, because there's a lot of different stuff. I'll read it out loud for you. Um, reflexes. Determines your maneuverability in addition to increasing your overall movement speed. Each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion, increase crit chance, and increase damage from mantis blades. Oh, so there's, like, a dex-based melee weapon. Interesting. Okay. Technical ability. Technical ability represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 5%. Okay, I'm going to max that. Because we're kind of like the cyber hacker smart weapon bro. And then cool. Cool determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase crit damage, increase all resistances, increase stealth damage, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth, and increase mono wire damage okay so huh i think i want to max int and tech for this run but i don't know where i want to put our last point i think i'm gonna do it in cool co easy co easy co blade cool okay i'm feeling good about this you leave the corporate world with their lives. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Now, we can't change our alias, can we? No. Because they say his name, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm about to hit start in Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my God. It didn't take us too long, 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, I like, I like this look. It's gonna work. Oh, okay. V, you there? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. You all right? <sighs> Fine. Just uh, needed a breather. It sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. Esa chamba te va a matar. We had a leak. My boss called. Drag me in because we had to intervene. Everyone in Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? That guy just watched me say that. The one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work an hour that might be a problem. counter intel, you're always fucked. Uh -uh. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. What a swear to Okay. So, first time in Night City, play close attention to the uh, pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as to read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk. Oh my God! Ew, we're just gonna leave that there, dude? Come on, man. 
Don't worry, guys. Barry's going to work on the overlay. Don't worry. Yes? You want something? Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? How's your mother? Oh, I said hello. Um... I need to increase my mouse a little bit. Do, 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 do. Controls. Um, let's put this at like uh, eight and eight, maybe. Ah. Major Jello, thank you for the twenty gift bomb, my dude. Okay, how do I walk? Shift is sprint. Control is duck. Is there a walk button? Analysis mode is tab. Uh, no, there's not. Okay. No. Unfortunate. Whoa. Cool. You think Japan will find out? About what? About Frankfurt. I mean, it's a small leak, but still. Japan already knows. Where'd you hear this? Assume Japan knows everything. It's safest that way. Whoa. Can we? It's that time of year again when we present our list of the biggest and best corps to work with in Night City. Okay. Arasaka. Coming in again this year at our number one spot, the Japanese Ibatsu Juggernaut. Employees can expect to be fit with the latest cyberware tech and loyalty obligations only of only 20 years. Oh, good. Militech. The American arms giant provides its employees with up to 50% discounts on all Militech weapons. With a deal that good, you'll be able to put an MK31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. Biotechnica. Our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica, who offers up six, yes, six paid vacation days a year. What? Kang Tao, China's largest tech and arms manufacturer, treats its employees to a gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50 year loyalty pledge worrying about paying for health coverage. And Night Corp. Uh, while this hometown product can't compete with the biggest international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Nightcore sneaks into the, our big five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. Nice. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go right there. So obviously, that's not where we're going right now. Ah, we're Arasaka. Ooh. Gourmet Gamer. Good morning, Co. Uh, happy Cyberpunk Day. Looking forward to your play through this game. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Jesus, the Eurasian markets are going wild. Not to mention London, Zurich, Warsaw. <sighs> yep. It's disintegrating. Everyone's reacting to this leak. Markets down, arms transport stalled, ops in retreat, months of work out the window. Counter intel's in the grinder. For intended, this guide is intended for all Arasaka agents beginning work in Night City. Please follow the local code of conduct as it may differ from other Arasaka locations. Uh, issued scheduled progress reports, possess latest corporate tech. In the event of a crisis, all agents are required to report to Arasaka Tower. Cool. Okay, standard corporate mumbo jumbo. There's some stairs back here. Can we actually go up now? Locked. I like the little stock ticker in the bottom right. That's pretty cool. They're not going in here yet. We're supposed to take the elevator. Let's see if we can sneak behind here. Nope. 
Oh wait, can I open my inventory and stuff yet? Oh, crafting. Nani? Looking good. Journal. Nice. And inventory. Ooh. Oh, interesting. So I don't have like a an actual inventory? Backpack. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I was going to say. Looks like we break all the components down into different things. Color coded. Nice. Quick hack components. Cool. Sorting options. Great. Filters. Excellent. Okay. Good. Looking good. Okay. Supposed to go there. Oh. Nice. Taking so long. It's because of what happened in Europe. Mm-hmm. I heard. Data leak in Frankfurt. Ugh, half-brain management we're gonna pay for in sweat. All class A employees are requested to immediately report for their monthly review. Okay. They're transferring them out of Frankfurt now to emergency centers. Just got the latest report from Basel. I heard there's two dead. Three. They took out another Militech assassin near the border. Oh, damn. Okay. Can you see your feet? Yes. Yes, you can. RTX and DLSS and all that stuff is on. How will Arasaka shine in 2077? That depends on you. The end of World War I and the birth of Saburo Arasaka. From an early age, Saburo was heavily involved in the business his father Christ, V, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Man, he quickly demonstrated the work ethic and natural talent. God held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That, that Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. You hurry up. The Japanese Imperial Navy. <clears throat> By the age of 23, he had already achieved the rank of lieutenant. With 20 confirmed aerial victories, he forever will be honored as one of the Imperial Army's most accomplished fighter pilots. But in 1942, during a routine mission, his plane was severely. Hey guys, damaged. it's time to wake up. Yet, overcoming both grievous oh, injury hi. and a malfunctioning aircraft, Saburo managed to return. Militech to hit three of ours. Now we're evacuating the rest of our facilities in that part of Europe. What's the status of the three? They're dead. Once everyone else is safe, we'll issue a statement to the media. Saying what? A tragic accident during routine security system maintenance would be my bet. Oh, damn. 